want to make there sure this hits Bobby. There was a time Bobby. when resources seemed endless. Hello. But in 2030, the great energy crisis I'm, I'm began. Turn down the lights a little bit. With hardly any resources left on our world, Global Powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. Yeah. The answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar right. Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process helium-3. Nice. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. But then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonist was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to oh. the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, They've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable. But the mission is clear. Deliver us the moon. They said it! They said the thing! Roll credits. Now I'm actually kind of pumped. I, I like a good, a good like opening little monologue. You know, Pacific Rim did it really well. But right, like y'all couldn't have just gone for nuclear, solar, any of that. Ooh, can we change the color of this? Ooh, hello. Um, Ooh, the white actually looks. Kind of nice. I mean, so does the uh, the blue. Well, I guess this other one too. Yeah. What about like if I like kind of match stream colors? You know, maybe I would go. I was gonna say black light, but well, actually, I'm curious now. What would it look like if I did all these down? I don't know why I was immediately drawn to this right when the game started. Okay, it just literally goes away. Something like that. I'm down with it. I already did some settings a little bit. Just to make sure that the game uh, ran well. But there, it, right, it told me it's got some Wheatley vibes going for it. So let's see how this, uh, how this goes. How this delivery goes. <clears throat> Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil, which ultimately <clears throat> led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climate oh, great. scientists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's landmass. Several governments have oh. support for refugees. Oh. Sorry. I did not turn off. Motion blur. Oh no. No no no. <sighs> there's no there's no setting to turn off the motion blur. Maybe advanced. I'm sorry, y'all. So I probably do DX twelve. Ah, oh well. Set to eleven. Um Well, damn no ray tracing. You hate to see it. Well, I guess it's on DX12. I don't have a card that does that. Pretty sure only the 20 series cards. Anyway. Well. We're, uh, we're motion blurring. Of <clears throat> the dust storm is expected to hit residential zones between the northern 49th and The game does look nice, though. By late afternoon, 
and pass over the World Space Agency. Okay, one ground launch sequencer, uh, overall access arm. Okay, so this there's a lot going on here, lots of controls. I'm sure we'll use that later. My Fortuna. Oh, beep. Hello. Let's get suited up. Ground control to Fortuna One. This is Claire. Please confirm radio contact. Uh, tab. Ooh, it's my pit boy. Confirm. Radio contact confirmed. Make your way to the launch platform and prime the rocket for liftoff. Already. We have to launch before the dust storm hits. All right. Uh, so let's do that. Let's not waste time. I gotta say again. The game does look very nice. Fulsen Cobb, Cosmodrome, 2059. The Taurus 5. It took us four years to get her ready for launch. But you need to hurry. The dust storm will hit this area in a few hours. If we don't succeed now, the Fortuna mission will be over for good. Oh, okay. Scan. Ooh. MPT Network Dish. Created by Isaac J Johansson, the MBT transmitted power from the moon to Earth through a network of satellite dishes. Since Isaac's disappearance during the 2054 blackout, Claire Johansson has studied her father's work closely, preparation for the Fortuna mission. I feel like my friend Josh would very much like this game. It's kind of giving me like Dead Space vibes a little bit. Ooh, goes the first person there. Home is where we are together. Claire Johansson. I just uh, looked at her notes or whatever. It's a girl, Isaac and Elizabeth. Oh, mommy. Daddy's out the moon. Then they do not look happy. That's not a very good. At the edge of wires. Ooh. Books about their their energy exploits. Oh no! Wait. Clear me. Oh, so they were on the moon. Or maybe... Oh, no, okay, okay. They were both on Earth. But then she went to the moon with her dad, leaving Claire behind. She dreams of Claire someday joining them on the moon. Oh, but Claire was the person we were just talking to. Oh? That's rough, buddy. What do we got here? Oh, no. Not the shrine. Mother lost. Elizabeth kept the Johansson family together. After her husband Isaac assumed a role on the Lunar Council. After her death, Claire took care of her sister Kathy before she was taken to the moon to live with Isaac. Both Isaac and Kathy have not been seen since the blackout. I knew it. See, they told me everything they needed to with those those small child's uh, pictures. Betty. Oh, Kathy, you left your bear. That's alright. Maybe we'll meet Kathy up there. Kind of a little cozy spot there. Cozy or cramped, however you want to want to look at it. Ooh, Sputnik. A monument marks the entrance to the Fesenkov Cosmodrome. The facility was abandoned until the Fortunus team made it to their made it their base of operations after the blackout and began preparations for humanity's last mission to space. The side reads to the stars. Good for them. Also, I'm curious. Okay, so we got mission lob, we got tools, common device, flashlight, astro tool, that's probably, okay, that's my pit boy. The oculus probably scans, yep. Okay. Okay, this is all looking pretty nice so far. I'm not, like, overwhelmed or anything. What is this, though? <gasps> there we go. Flip the switch. Launch it. Let's go. That's about to be us in two seconds. Hopefully with a bit more guidance, but that's the idea. Kind of worried, but I'm sure we'll be just fine. Let's go for it. <clears throat> or shadowing at its finest. Oh god. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's great. Um. Hey Claire. The the, the switch. I uh, pressed the button. Didn't quite work out for us. Oh, here we go. We got the manual. Yeah, this is a great sign, right? <laughs> oh the. 
this simple elevator leading to the extremely intricate space rocket has broken down. Just climb the ladder to the extremely intricate space rocket. Oh, okay, I think that was the backup generator. Seems like. This place is not looking good, though. Definitely has seen better days. Much better. Kid, I see you're on your way up to the facility. The control center is located on the top floor. There you can prime the rocket for launch. Hello. It's been five years since we last received a microwave power transmission from the lunar colony. At first, no one believed it would be possible to transmit energy from the moon back to Earth. But the WSA proved the skeptics wrong. Just like you will, when you get the MPT back online. Thank you for letting me know that, Draz. I'm keeping an eye on it. And see just how bad it gets and what I might be able to change about it. Um, it's interesting, too. Like... Far be it for me to, to actually judge the game based off this, dog. I'm loving this like world building, but like um, the fact that Claire just walked us through some exposition, it's like why would she in an actual if we're if we're taking away the fourth wall of it here, like a real person wouldn't just say that. It's like oh hey this you know astronaut that I've been working closely with for years, I'm gonna re-explain what happened. It's like, yeah, I already know all this in the you know lore sense, but the player doesn't know that, so you got to say it to the player in some way. The power's out. Use the code three five four eight for the door. We'll do that. What was it? Three five four eight. Three five four eight. Let's go. Codec. Bullet. Flashlight, there we go. Man, yeah, like, I really just not feel like this this whole facility, I mean, you know, they've, they've done well for their time, but I'm not feeling extremely confident here. Do not let it go offline. Every day we work for the safety of our loved ones. Well, too late for that. This building once functioned as part of the WSA, but it's been our home for many years now. I still can't believe you'll be leaving here for good soon. Like, the desertification of this whole region won't take long after the storm passes through. But the astronaut would have already known that. But we as the player do not know that. So it's like very nitpicky, but it's like, hmm, why would she be telling the astronaut? Anyway, Space Tech Magazine. What happened to the MPP? M MPT. I almost said MPP. LOL. In this edition, we invite world renowned scientists to discuss what could have caused the MPT to remain offline. What might have caused. What uh, ha might have happened to the lunar colonists and how humanity should move forward. Looks like we are not doing too well in that sense. Raisin Brand, you're literally here just in time to be delivered to the moon. So far, we found out. This Honestly, it's fantastic storytelling already. Um. We found out that Earth was running out of power. So, we went to the moon, and we found helium-3. We used helium-3 as a uh, as a resource to get more power. That is, until... Helium-3, interesting. Is this, like, accessibility, or is this, like, for moving large objects? Um, until the power from the moon suddenly shut off. We lost all communication. We had no resources to uh, communicate with the moon. And now we're on a dust planet of Earth. But now, in a final stake, to continue forward, we are sending ourselves to the moon. To see what we might achieve. And what we might find out. There, I sure as hell hope not. We, humanity's mistakes cannot be repeated. With grape nuts on the moon. Hugens. Research facility. In memoriam. Is that Hugens? Is that how you say that? Hugens malfunction? 2048. Huh. I don't think we've heard about the Hugens malfunction yet. Also, what does reading do? Oh, okay, nice. Interesting. I do see a notebook here, though. 
Nope, that's fusions. During the huge's malfunction, we had comms with Earth. The blackout is different. How does a whole colony go silent? What happened up there? That makes a lot of sense. I was thinking too. I was like, okay. <clears throat> that's truly. It, yeah, great bats and Arby's. They're, we're gonna get up there. There's gonna be a, a lone Arby's with a single box of grape nuts on the de on the front desk. I was thinking though. I was like, okay. Like I can understand you run out of energy if the colony, if like you know this connection gets separate or something. But I figured there'd be things in place to kind of have a backup, like talk to the people up there or something, you know. So it is kind of and uh, it seems like we just found out that there was a. A previous tragedy this huge is malfunction that might have been similar but as we saw in these notes here they could still communicate like the things were still okay it still worked out during the malfunction they could still talk to people up there but the blackout is different why is that I see we just uh checked out determined to seek the future or seek the truth about the 2054 blackout restore the MPT connection Maria Gonzalez has raised the Fortuna team from the ashes of the WSA. Since 2055, Maria's team has been secretly working on their mission. That's very, uh, very interstellar. You know, like the movie Interstellar. Tony, welcome. Soon in space. We'll see, hopefully. If we don't die before then. There's, but there's, uh, you know, kind of like the underground rumblings of a former great space, a space agency looking to, to save planet Earth. Or, honestly, the human species at this point. I kind of like those ideas. Like Interstellar, where it's like, Doc, fuck Earth. We're a species that is like, in, we are in the thick of it, you know? One of the few survivors of the 2048 Hugens Cryo Sleep Malfunction, Maria bought her damage, brought her damaged ASC unit back to Earth with her. She's been trying to repair the ASC in hopes of restoring holographic recording captures Captured by the device during her time at the Hugens Research Facility. You know what's great about this game, too? I actually really want to read every single thing. I don't feel overwhelmed. I'm, I'm honestly, I, I gotta check out every single little bit of lore. All of it. Literally, the weight of the world, weight of the species on my shoulder. It, it really kind of, you know, gives credence to the whole, we're kind of, just like the scope of the universe, you know? Right now, Earth is like the most important thing to us as humans because you know it's all we've ever known but in a cosmic sense like ourselves are probably a bit more important than earth because like well eventually earth might like you know not be good but humans we got to stick around how are we going to do that dear sarah we met years ago on the pearson space station i was relieved from service after the hugens cryo sleep malfunction learning more about this hugens thing i really hope i'm saying that right hugens um, remember how we talked about my broken ASE? I'm looking for a way to extract its holographic data, and I'm hoping you could help me out. Maria Gonzalez. Hi, Maria. Yeah, I remember. Holographic data works through, runs through a unique hardware component. I specialize more in software, so you should reach out to my colleague, Rolf Robertson, Robertson here at Pearson. He's an excellent mechanic. All right, Mr. Robertson. I need your help. There's the squad right there. Oh, no. Where are the candles? A memoriam, no. Lots of people lost their lives. Don't forget every one we lost that day. So it was a cryosleep malfunction. Oh, here we go. More lore. Lunar colony despair. Hugens cryosleep malfunction. Hugens cryosleep experiment. Uh, responsible for the major disaster. State of emergency. Fetal terror inside the crowd sleep machinery. The Hugens Research Facility has suffered severe damage. Death toll, the facility is still being... Okay. The lunar base, which is vital... Okay, I guess Hugens is the lunar base? I assume? The Hugens Research Facility remain closed. WSA considers damage irreversible. Okay, so it's a facility on the base. Not necessarily the entire lunar colony. But they had a, a rough go at it, it seems. I'm still slightly worried about our upcoming uh, space travel. But what are we going to do? Wait around for the apocalypse? Alone forever? 
and try and seek out an escape. You know? At least I could have done was clean up the place a little bit. I'm liking the music so far, too. It's, it's mostly just kind of like a ambient, ambient type beat. But it's nice. It's fitting the, uh, fitting the mood very well. <gasps> Birthday! Celebration! Where is everyone? Is this my surprise party? You remembered. And they left in a hurry. What is it? Oh, they did! Evacuation notice. Please proceed outside the Fezenkov Cosmodrome facility between September 15th, 15th and 16th. Everyone in and around the facility must be ready outside the building at the rendezvous. Marie Gonzalez. Fortuna 1 is a go. Oh, shit. So this was them celebrating getting off of Earth, it looks like. Mmm. Some lime. Even some cola, perhaps. Wow. Delicious. Surprise! We're gone! <laughs> Claire's office. Ooh. Right, just read this. Oh, we got something over here. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be missing lore, not me, no sir. Beer pong, hilarious. It's like a beer pong list. The homeboy won though, look at this. Jordy really made it happen. God damn. Good times, man. Humanity. Good times. Continuing on. Isolated three plausible causes for the MPT blackout. One, the transmitter at Pearson Space Station. Claire, there you are. Come on, we're celebrating in the other room. Everyone is looking for you. I need to go over this one last time, Maria. We've been over it before, multiple times. We're good. Come, it's time to join the party. It won't take long, I'll be right there. A true Johansson. Once he set his mind to something, I could never convince him either. You are just as stubborn as your father. <laughs> Probably the only thing we have in common. I, I just don't understand why he didn't restore the MPT connection. He invented the damn thing. And now it's just us. No one else is even trying. If we fail... Remember what I told you. If it can be done, then we're going to do it. That's all we have to focus on. Go over your notes. Join us when you're ready. All right. I got nothing to hide, Samina. I don't know what she's talking about. Welcome. You're here just in time to be delivered to the moon. So far, we have found out a lot of things. I'm actually really liking this game so far. Fantastic world building. Um, <clears throat> Earth was running out of energy, as uh, you know, humans are wont to do. And uh, found an alternate source of energy in helium-3, which was abundant on the moon created a lunar station to supply Earth with all the energy it needed until one day it suddenly goes dark. With uh, little resources, we were pretty much done for. The control center is located on the yes. top floor of the facility. Yes, I understand. The, the, the game's like, hurry up. Um, so it went dark. We don't know what's going on. So we're kind of, uh, kind of one of the last people on a dying planet on our way to go see what the freak happened. We just learned, it looks like, that um, some people did escape. Claire's rocket model, recruited straight out of university, Claire Johansson, designed the Taurus V rocket for the Fortuna mission. Claire was eager to join the team to uncover the fates of her father and sister on the moon after the 2054 blackout. So it seems like we just learned that there was this Fortuna mission, which was, uh, a, it seems like a rocket that was meant to bring the rest of the crew down here up to the lunar base. Which seemed to be a success, question mark? If nothing else, people left the station. Launch sequence, okay. What do we got here? Ooh, Supreme Court of the United Kingdom. Let's read this. <clears throat> Dear Miss Johansson, the court rules that the father, Isaac Johnson, as the next kin, has been granted full custody over Kathy Christina jo Johansson after the mother, Elizabeth Johansson's untimely death. As her current guardian, you are obtained. You are ordained to ensure that Kathy is brought for safe passage to the moon to be reunited with her father. Sincerely, the Honorable Judge Richard Edge. So, uh, Kathy and Claire were living down here on Earth. 
um, Claire, no, yes, I think Claire was sent to the moon. Kathy left down here. Seems like Kathy went to, uh, wanted to also, you know, reunite them. Their mom, uh, their mom died. While, uh, while she, the mom stayed on Earth, but eventually died. The dad went to the moon for the lunar base. That's Isaac Johansson. Kind of like the, the big brands behind all this stuff, it seems, so far. I'm honestly, I'm actually reading like every single little bit of lore. I'm fucking with it. Ready to launch as fast as possible. As fast as possible. Reboot. Turn it off back on again. Classic. Classic move. That's what they need to do with the lunar base, dude. Claire, we have a problem. The storm is approaching faster than expected. Way faster. Time's running out. Keep going, Fortuna. We've been working too long to give up now. I guess Fortuna might be the AI. There, there's a, a storm coming as well, like a big dust storm that we have to hurry up for. Close both hydrogen fuel valves. That's a uh, like. There's so many things I want to read. Let's okay. Hydrogen fuel valves must be the big red button. Surely. Turn the key. Press the button. Nope. Maybe, well, here, let me see if that interface there changes when I do this. Oh, that must be the actual launch. We, we have to do these other things first. Seems like an exit to me. Let's go for it. But I feel like oftentimes when you're playing a game and there's like a shit ton of like logs and and data to read and it just, you know, it gets kind of bogged down. You know, I don't want to read all this. This game, that is not the case. At least so far. I'm, I'm like literally zooming in on posters on the wall. Oh, we were down here. So that I can, oh, you know what we did down here? We moved this thing around. Maybe we can move it over here. I haven't seen a spot where we would need this yet. But I mean, come on. Why would they allow us to do that if we're not supposed to? Um, but yeah, so far I've, I've been like, give me every single piece of the lore. I beg of you. You can already go up here. This isn't some of the dust storms. Oh, this is both the fuel valves. It seems like during the dust storms, my frames drop a little bit. That's one. Can we just jump down? Let's go. Can we jump? We can jump. Oh, come on. Okay. That's why we got this. Perfect. I mean, also, we just jumped. You mean to tell me that you can't just jump up that? Okay, let's... Nope, wrong way. Rotate. Right into there. Let's go. Doing pretty good so far. Okay, the hydrogen valves are closed. Head he back inside okay. the control center to prime the rocket for launch. There we go. Now it's green instead of red. Pre-render cutscene. <laughs> right, I can't go any further. Like, bro, just go over it. <laughs> Alright, looks like we're ready to go. The rocket is primed. You have to launch now before the dust storm destroys the rocket and everything. Oh shit! I'm actually. Like, it's actually the storm's like pushing me a little bit. Go, go. Oh, what if I'm missing lore?
about big interstellar vibes right now. I do not remember the launch sequence. Oh, uh, what's the launch sequence? There it is. Just like your training, you can do this. Okay. Initiate launch procedure. Ground launch sequencer started. Uh, this one? Orbital access arm retracting. Perfect, just like okay. we practiced. Three is these. Up, down, up, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down. Nope, actually, I think that was different than what I wanted. No, no, no. Yeah, the opposite. Fuck me. Okay. Uh, four, is this one? Fuck me. Five. Good. Uh, six. Good. So we got one over here. Here it is. Rocket boosters, ignition start. Engines ready in five, four, three, two, start one. We have Let's go. Okay, wasn't there more? No, that was it. There was a tin there. Okay, who needs the backup camera anyway? Bro, could you imagine? I literally could not. The rocket has entered the thermosphere. You're on your way, but you know what? I literally could not imagine. Okay, nine is that one. That and then this? Nine ten? Because our eight was part of this. Hey, we believe in you. Look, they believe in me. Uh, I think I missed the shot of the Earth. Oh uh, no, wow. I, that's that's all there is left to Earth. Oh, I should let the, oh, here we go. The camera pulled me over here. Restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. Man, she said the first astronauts the on the moon a hundred years ago. And I was like, okay, come on, this is the future. Y'all should like push that. You know, a hundred years ago, that's not that long ago. And I was like, holy shit, the first people went to the moon like. 50 years ago, 60 years ago, ah, oh, it's like 50 years ago, what the fuck? Oh great. <sighs> they said it again. They said the thing! Complete the second uh, stage of the rocket launch sequence. Cut off the main engine. This one? Okay, so that was eight. Nine is the button. And then ten is this. But it really is like space exploration is really in its infancy, huh? Like, I really was, whenever she was like the first people to walk on the moon a hundred years ago and I was like, okay but this is supposed to be like the super future so man it's not that long it hasn't been that long since the first voyage to the moon I love me a good title card you already know that but beautiful 
haunting. Fantastic. Alright, hope y'all enjoyed. See y'all next time. And I'll uh, see you next time. Goodbye. I'm joking, joking. We're staying here.